Andy, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, thanks Go for ahead having me, have sir. Have a seat. Okay. Okay, so uh, of course I've looked over your resume already, uh, but that's, you know, that tells me what you've done. I want to know more about you, so I'm just going to ask you a few standard interview questions and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. All right. All right. So uh, the first one, what is your biggest weakness? Oh boy. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of a detail oriented person, which I think for some things can help. But there are other times when I have to, you know, pull back a little bit. And, you know, I've got to look at the big picture. Okay, interesting, interesting. What is your biggest... Oh, sorry. I don't care about the strengths. What is your biggest fear? Biggest fear? Uh, boy, I guess that people don't trust that my work is of high value. Mine's toilet snakes, so... Toilet snakes? Yes, sir. Yes, I, I'm sure you've heard of it, but that's when... A snake, usually it's been a python in the articles that I've read, but they slither into the plumbing and then they, pardon the uh, expression, snake their way up into the toilet bowl. And so then you open the toilet seat and you see a python in the toilet. And that's if you're lucky, because the worst case scenario is you're already on the toilet and the snake is trying to slither in where things are coming out. You know what I'm saying? Um... I don't trust a man that's not afraid of toilet snakes, Andy. Uh, they sound scary. You're yeah. never going to use a bathroom again, are you, Andy? Uh, mm, probably not. You mm -hmm. know, I'll have to find other ways. Yeah. What I do is I'll usually just climb up on a ladder and then, you know, hope I make it in. Oh, okay. It's yeah. safer. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to question number three. Okay. If someone yeah. were to break you mentally, what would they do? Are you, are you asking what would break me mentally? I need to know how you would deal with pressure on the job. I can just talk about how I deal with stress. These questions have been carefully crafted. I'd prefer if you just answered the way they're phrased. Uh, I don't know if they really made me feel bad, like that I was, that I, that I was, that I was an idiot or I was, I don't really. Here at this company, we've been using a software. Uh, it's fairly new. Uh, you know, it's only been around for about five years. Okay. Uh, your resume says you've used it for four years. Is that correct? Y sure. Yeah. I. Uh, okay. Well, we're really kind of looking for somebody that's got seven years of experience with the software. Well, okay. But has there been updates to the software? How many tennis they... balls can you fit into a limousine? Excuse me? Tennis? Tennis balls. Tennis, tennis balls. The limousine. Yes, that is correct. How... I, how would I... I don't know that. I don't know that. I've never done that. Mm, okay. But probably a lot, I assume. Name a time you followed directions incorrectly and how you dealt with that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, the worst I can think of for me was just that I went out to get supplies for the company and... Um, uh, I know some of it had to do with sizing. They just wanted A4 letterhead, but I got the legal size. And when I came back, my boss was upset because he had this report. And so I told him, you know, it's already 6 o'clock, but I know a place nearby that's open late. This is on me. I won't charge for the time. I'll go out and get us the right uh, the right stock because, because I made this mistake. Name a time you misinterpreted directions and how you dealt with that. Um... Well, that's pretty similar to the other time. Uh, Name a time you made a mistake with directions and how you dealt with that. Uh, well, it feels it's sort of the same. Name a time you found out you were a mistake and how you dealt with that. I'm sorry, I was a mistake? Like me as an, as an employee? Um, just even as a person. I don't... I mean, I don't know, honestly, I don't think I've ever had the feeling that, that I was a mistake. What are the geographic coordinates for Botswana? What? I'm sorry, this this job, is. are, are we going to need to know that? You never know what I you're going to we need to know. When you lost your virginity, was it a feeling of triumph or regret? I'm sorry, how does this... Relate. Triumph or regret, Andy? Does it have to be one Triumph of the Triumph or regret? I was happy. So triumph? Yeah, triumph. 
We've all been in situations where the world was about to end and the fate of humanity hung in the balance. Name a time where you, single-handedly or as part of a team, saved the entire human race from global extinction. Uh, are you serious? I am. Do you mean like, metaphorically? Why would I mean metaphorically? I need literal action on the job, not metaphors, okay? It's a simple question, Andy. When did you save the world? Um... Okay, well, this, my, um, my little brother was having a birthday party. Um, so he was turning uh, six, and he had a bunch of kids over, and he's really excited, but we were supposed to have a clown perform, and there was gonna be a petting zoo, but they, someone had put out the wrong dates, and so the clown wasn't gonna be there, and the petting zoo, I don't know, something went, fell through, and they, they weren't gonna be there either, and we were worried that he was gonna be so disappointed, so I sort of found a clown outfit, and I performed for the kids, and uh, we couldn't do a petting zoo, but I made balloon animals, and there was a farm nearby, and I drove us all over, um, and it really made him happy, and I felt guess in a small way that was important. Wow, well that's that's a really great story, Andy. Thanks. I guess where I'm a little confused though is the part where you think that one clown not showing up for one birthday party leaves the entire human race in danger, but maybe that's just me. Well, I thought maybe he wasn't showing up because he was, you know, he had obtained nuclear warheads and he was going to blow up the world. But no, it's just that he didn't know the date. Yeah, but that's that's a thing. That's a story. Like, who, who saved the world? Like, no one's done that. Quite frankly, Andy, I don't think that you're qualified to be a cashier at this fast food restaurant. What? You just don't have the experience. Based on what I've learned here today, it's apparently experience that cannot be taught. Because I haven't saved the world. That is correct, I... yes. But I appreciate you coming in. I, I appreciate you taking time out of your day. Thank you for having me, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, if anything changes... Just give me a call when you've saved the world. Right.